Hey folks, how you doing? I have something to show you today. Two very interesting sheets. One you kind of seen before, tomahawk, cold steel tomahawk. I don't actually know which one this is. That's the regular hammer back, and a uh, little different than before. You st still did the security, but kind of, kind of nice design. This time you don't have to like twist it. You just pull back. The pretty good retention, even with just like this but you do have the security feature here and this is not coming out for nothing and this is just uh, when I mold it it's for the ferro rod actually I think this is 3 8 ferro rod no little holder just little extra feature also works as a drain hole but whatever you know these big sheets have so many spaces there that it doesn't really need it but uh, might as well fig uh, use up the little material instead of just grinding it. Came out pretty nice. This will be a little customized still. This is getting some fancy Japanese symbols on the handle. Very curious how I'm gonna handle that when I really can't write Japanese. <laughs> and uh, this is guy. <laughs> Probably the hardest shit I've ever done. And uh, I still miss one rivet, but. Cold steel special forces shawl. Kydex sheet. Kinda need, you know? I don't think many people will want it because this shit is probably twice the, more than twice the money of the shovel itself, but you know what it's not not bad. I mean tie this lash it to the backpack or something, you know, whatever down downside you don't have to worry about it, it has really good retention. But you still can, you know, pull it out. And actually, because of the the shape of the shovel, it goes in like nice and sleek, even with these crazy contours you have there. That's what holds it inside. It works pretty nice, actually. I was, I thought that it will work. I didn't think it will work this this well. It's not the prettiest shit, but it's not that bad, you know. Kind of funny. And the uh, nice thing, funny thing. Little little it little new item for my EDC in kind of that sense uh, escape and evade. Check this out, guys. Little pimped handcuff key with the G10 handle and a pattern. I got it as a regular handcuff key, one of the nice ones. But it was actually I was kind of disappointed of how huge it was and how ugly. It actually said it's supposed to be carbon fiber, but it was nothing like that. It was just plain old plastic. So I figure I can pimp out the handcuff key. So there you go, guys. It's pretty cool, I think. It's like a nice little necklace. And uh, no, hopefully never have to use it, but it's not a bad thing to have handcuff key for the evade and escape situations. You know, a couple of dollars, not gonna hurt anybody. I think I'm pretty sure it would be illegal, actually, if the cops catch you with it, but you know, it's not something you're gonna flash flesh out somewhere, it's something you're gonna have hidden on your person or some something like that. Kind of interesting, what do you think? Hope you enjoyed guys, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.